who mainly can benefit from this? Anybody can benefit from higher levels of oxygenation. Anybody. In terms of specific problems, there are many diabetics who have to have amputations because blood flow is compromised. Right, I have an aunt who is losing a piece of her body as, as her d disease progresses. Well, we can help about 90% of those people not have amputations. And one thing that the hyperbaric therapy will do, it induces what's called angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the body's capability of growing new blood vessels. When new blood vessels grow to replace the damaged ones that are caused by an injury or by a diabetic problem or whatever, new blood vessels will attach around the area, supply blood to the area, which means supply oxygen to the area. So are you telling me that a hyperbaric chamber, because I know that my relative loses her digits and now up her, because there's no blood flow, the oxygen isn't getting there. Are you telling me that hyperbaric can help regrow vessels in that? I am absolutely telling you that. What about people then with strokes or heart disease? <clears throat> well, an injury is an injury. And an injury to the brain is usually based on some damage to the brain that impairs blood flow that therefore will affect neurons, brain, brain neurons. And if you want to activate or reactivate those neurons or, or pump them up a little bit to make them function more efficiently, give more blood flow, which will give more oxygen, and that generally will happen. And then the rehab efforts will be much more effective because the brain is functioning at a much higher level, and that's how we treat brain injury. Is this a standard for most people that have a stroke or have a heart condition? Mm -hmm. Do their doctors normally put them through hyperbaric? Not in the United States. In some countries, it's almost mandatory that hyperbarics be used immediately because if it's used immediately after a stroke, it can generally stop the symptoms from developing. 